Hey gents, today we're going to check in after about seven months with my Ace Marks Double Monks. And then these were delivered in the fall, so about six months with their sneakers. And I am quite impressed with both of these. So we'll run through, just talk about them for the last few months. We'll check in with one of my friends who is a huge Ace Marks fan, has way more than me and a lot more experience. We'll start off with the sneakers. These have not had as much time on the foot as I maybe would like. I find that black on black is tough for, for me and my wardrobe to really integrate. But if you're looking at the white silhouette, I'm very impressed with these. They come in at 224 and they perfectly thread the needle. Most of the questions I get are like between Greats and Koyo and Svensson, and these perfectly thread the needle between each of those. So at, at 224, you get the Margam sole, very comfortable. The inner lining is one of the better full grain leathers, which help with comfort and moisture absorption, everything there. And the exterior leather is also very nice. You know, made in Italy, I think if you don't wanna go all the way up into the Koyo, price range uh, and you aren't a fan of the silhouette of the greats those are a little bit heavier these are these are perfectly positioned between both of those to hit them and when comparing the Svensson Svensson is probably the biggest one that I see compared the leather is nicer on these and the interior lining is a lot nicer than the Svensson so the Ace Mark sneakers really into these I got the all black ones you know all white ones or the, you know, they have several different co color combinations and so I can strongly recommend the Ace Mark sneakers and before we get into the double monks let's check in with my buddy Carlos Escobar Escobar style on Instagram I'll put a link to his down below. He has a lot more ace marks than me and I wanted him to kind of talk about his experience with the brand. Hey guys, Escobar Style here um, and I just want to share my experience with ace marks as I have been a, a fan of them uh, since maybe three years ago when they first started on Kickstarter. Um, as you can see I have a wide collection of them, two here in front of me and five more behind me so yes I am a fan. Uh, and I have these two in front of me specifically just to let you know that I've had these for three years. I've worn these many times also to a conference uh, last year and two years before that, as well as the hole cuts. Um, and I've walked in these, I would say, a good four hours during the nighttime. And they are so comfortable. I mean, I haven't experienced uh, a shoe like that yet. So I'm a big fan of theirs. Uh, price point is excellent of what you're getting, so you can't beat that. The style and the comfort is unbelievable so hopefully that that helps you in, in making your choice but john thanks for having me and uh i'll see you guys later thank you carlos everybody go check him out on instagram a long time friend and supporter of the channel and so now let's talk about the monk strap this is the brandy antique double monk i definitely didn't have anything like this in my collection i did have a couple of double monks and after several months of wearing them you can see you got all the scuffs on here as I do uh, wearing these out. I'm equally impressed with these as I was with the sneakers. They sit in at 299, so they're not quite up in the Allen Edmonds space, but they're not quite down in like the Beckett Simonon, Blake McKay space, but they situate themselves well because the leather is very nice, of course made in Italy, and they have plenty of options on the site for different color combinations and styles within their line. And a really unique thing for them being a direct to consumer brand like this is that they also offer D and E width, so most guys are gonna wear D, that's fine. I wear a size 12 or 45 so they fit identical to my Allen Edmonds Fifth Avenues but if you need a little bit wider of a size Ace Marks is one of the few direct consumer brands you can actually go pick that up and then as you're all comparing all these brands in the two to three hundred dollar price point Ace Marks does also stand out where they have free shipping but also free return so if you get a shoe doesn't fit they're very good about making sure you can get an exchange or return and their customer service from my own experience and from what I keep hearing from all of you guys that have recommended Ace Marks too is outstanding as well and that's a big thing for me is like if I recommend a brand I listen to you guys, you know, because if you have a problem with the brand, you end up emailing me and not necessarily the brand. And so I'm always like making sure that the, the recommendations are good. And so for $299, these are definitely higher in the price tier of the D2C brands. Like they're you know, $100 more than Thursday Boots, but they're also a lot sleeker. They have this more Italian design and the leather on these is heads and tails above Thursday Boots. And so this is a perfect example where you have Thursday Boots at $199, which is a Goodyear welt with like mediocre leather. And then you have these at $299, which is a Blake Stitch a lot sleeker of a design if that's what you're looking for, but much nicer leather. And so, you know, you gotta decide there. I would lean towards this silhouette versus a Thursday silhouette, also because the leather is nicer. You can polish it and it'll last a bit longer because really the, the amount of time it takes to wear out a leather sole, it's a long time, especially with some kind of sole protectors on there, but uh, kind of getting off track there. So that is Ace Marks. I've been very impressed with them. I've been very happy with them. I love all of the options and colors that they have on the site, and they're a very good native D2C brand on the web. And so Ace Marks, 
real deal. So go ahead and check out Carlos. I'll put links to his stuff below. If you want to check out Ace Marks, I'll put links down there below as well. Those links support the channel. This review is not sponsored or paid for in any way. I try to remain as independent as possible uh, for better or worse. And so if you have any questions, I'll be down in the, in the comments. As always, you can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. <laughs>